What you doing? Hello guys. I am cooking dinner slash meal prepping for my husband in case we have a surprise guest this week. Um, I like have not been in the mood to cook or do anything lately, so kind of feel trash. Especially, not because he requires that of me. It's not because of that, but it's because I enjoy, I'm a caretaker at heart and I enjoy like catering to and cooking, even for like my friends in college and stuff like me and my one other friend were like the designated cook for everything. So like for me not being able to do what I like to do for others, especially my husband has really been making me feel like a trash wife and a trash human um, and like eating takeout and stuff. So I have a tiny, actually I have a lot more energy right now than I typically would. I just got back from a four mile walk and I came straight back and started cooking. It's Sunday night, um, but he always like goes to workouts for the entire morning and then like around lunchtime, it's like, is there anything in the house? And I feel horrible when I say there's nothing And I tell her she's being dramatic all the he time. Does, but I'm trying to meal prep so I can like have enough stuff. And it's also my husband's birthday week. So he gets whatever he wants all week. <laughs> <laughs> it's dirty 30. So his favorite is steak and lobster mac. So that's what I am making right now. Um, that's it really guys. Jay, what forget you where they are, one is in each boob. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to disconnect wires. I think I got my debris in the wrong thing. Okay, wait. Shay the engineer. Go to sleep. You buddy messes. Is there an even an outlet back? So somebody started some strong contractions this morning. I did. Well like middle of the night slash early morning, but it was this morning. For the first time, because all up until now, today's what? December 23rd. <laughs> all up until now, I was just feeling like heavy period cramps. So I was like, like I'm not in pain, so nothing could possibly be happening. But last night, it was consistent and it was back to back. So I'm wondering what'll happen today. Cause you know, they say like, if you get up and move around, they kind of fade off if it's not really time. So we're just gonna wait and see, but I mean, I wouldn't be mad if she came today or tomorrow, but. What about the day after that or the next day? Mm, Christmas and my husband's birthday, I don't know, but you know, it's her <laughs> world. So we're just waiting. Mm. How do you feel, dad? Well, ooh, <laughs> let me flip up, oh, you know, <laughs> exactly. So apparently she had really strong contractions and let me sleep right Wait, through so the app was like you should start packing your stuff up i mean obviously we're going to be at home but the app was like you should start packing things up it's looking like they're super consistent blah 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 and she just yeah okay. <laughs> i just x'd out of it thank you boo. i just x'd out of it and i was like i'm not going to tell him that because he's going to be like oh my gosh exactly yes like i should but apparently no baby yet, so. No baby look, yet. Still, still got a bump over there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep so, you updated. Yeah. So it is 6 a.m. and I am on my way because Jalisa 
I might be having this baby today. So I'm on my way. I'm so excited, it's Christmas Eve. I mean, I did ask that Harper not come on my wedding day, so she did good there. I'm so excited. It's freaking cold outside. I have on a hoodie and some leggings. Got all my camera stuff. I'm ready to go. Harper, we ready for you, girl. We is ready for you, okay? Whew. Oh my God. Your water? Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Her water. I'm about to go jog around the neighborhood. You about to go jog. We go family jog. You guys update and bump. And there's no update. She's doing good though. Are you having one? Uh oh. Said it was cold. Look at her. The baby is coming. <laughs> she said it was cold in here. Oh my gosh. Hell is gonna freeze over. And like being crazy. I feel like when I got here, he was like, yes. Okay, let me tell you what's going down. <laughs> so <she woke> up. I don't think that's pumped all the way. I think we go a little more. It's just what? I don't think y'all are gonna be shaking it like that. Right. She wants it. When y'all are in there, she, he won't be so scared. So Good to go. That is a little tire kick. Like the chest the tires. Kick them like that? How do you know if your tires are bad if you just kick them? I guess they go flat. That's a bad tire, right? You wouldn't want that on your car. Again, this is why we need instructions. <laughs> this, because Corey be making stuff up. This piece is all the way up here now. Shay and Co. edit again. Putting things together. I'm an engineer and Corey hates instructions, so he hates listening. Look, look, I'm ready. Break, pull it down. Well, look, look at all this space now. There's gonna be water in here. Yeah, water gonna push it down. Water gonna push it into, like, into, into the crevices. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's like our baptismal pool. Not a baptismal pool. I mean, yeah, once he gets have, here, we have a portable one. Do you both. baptized out the womb, sis. You burned one stone. 
Yeah, your birthday and one. your baptism. What are you going through? You scared of the pool? No, he on standby. Bye. Ain't that right? You on big brother duty. Here we go. There we go. Big brother duty. I just want to know when we can start boiling the water. I mean, pretty much at this point. Just we need most to make, of it has to be from oh, I'm particular said we need to make sure that the filter works. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Well, if we have to go to the storage fish to see. So we probably should make sure that we have a working filter from before. Dun dun dun. <laughs> On this episode of Shades Right again. I wouldn't say that. I'm always right. Ah. Corey never listens. I mean, I was just gonna wait a little longer, but. On Christmas Eve, he was gonna wait a little longer. The store's closed in two and a half hours. Hello world, I'm still pregnant. It was Christmas morning at 9 um, 8. We're about to open gifts. I'm having hey, mom. mom is here. Hey, I'm having contractions the pool. every seven minutes, I think. And they are extremely, extremely painful. Um, my midwife came last night. <clears throat> My midwife came last night um, to check on me and see where we were and what was going on. Her head was finally like down, down, like low. And hold on. Got one? Yep. So, pretty much this is my life. <laughs> this has been my life for the last 24, 24 36 hours. Um, <clears throat> from what I understand, she was just a little bit stuck yesterday and finally made it past whatever she was, whatever she was stuck at. Oh. I keep throwing up, um, but I think it's just because of contraction. But too strong for my body to handle. <clears throat> but here we are. We're still pregnant. 
Figuring it out. The bear is really thrown off and confused. It's very spiritual. Very sensual. Period. <laughs> I said that last night to them. It's very Matter of fact, Mom, how are you feeling? Excuse I me, Grandma. So excited, by the way, but I kind of, I concur with Karen that this is quite um, spiritual. I don't know what that is about it, but it's really spiritual and it's cool. It just seems so natural. I feel like we should be outside in the woods doing this or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, Not the woods. Go the way. <laughs> Bear, <laughs> Bear, how you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, it's um, strange to see that the, that the baby is gonna be here. It's not strange, but like, you know, she's never been through this before. It's my sister. I grew up with her, so it's like, <laughs> very different to see. Um, you know, I feel like it's very, um, I feel at home. I feel like the baby's gonna feel at home immediately uh, when Harper gets here, um, because they're in such a, a great environment, a comfortable environment. And so much love for you, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, Merry yeah. Christmas, great words. Dad, say something. Yeah, Dad. Oh, one more. Oh, yeah, you got this now. <laughs> Hello, world. But uh, nah, this isn't really, huh? Oops. But yeah, uh, not really too many nerves right now. Just waiting. You've been amazing. I mean, you have been amazing. It hasn't really. You, you, hear, you hear? You hear? You hear? You you hear? But yeah, not uh, too many nerves right now. Just waiting. Maybe it all hit me when. We're sitting in the pool over here. <laughs> so, uh, but definitely waiting for a baby girl, ready to see her. And other than that, Everybody ready to get this party started. Mom separating everybody's gifts. Mom's spouse just getting started, don't worry. <laughs> Got twins over here. And Corey has a birthday and Christmas. Ooh. So. so she doesn't believe in just getting gifts and saying happy birthday. Good. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bears over here stacking up. <laughs> hey man, look, I love gifts. Alright, so it is now 11.02, December 25th, Christmas night. Yeah, 11.02. Pretty sure twins' water just broke. The midwife and the doula just got here. Uh, they're sharing notes right now, talking about everything that's going on with the contraptions and everything like that. About to call Shema, because of course he's what I want to know. And I'm sure she's going to flip out. Uh, one second. Hello. Hello, Shayma. Hi. Yes, so we're pretty sure twins water just broke like a few minutes ago. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> So yeah, do you have, um, well, yeah, you had to let Mark know because I don't think I have her number. Okay. All right, okay, but yeah, let sorry. me call her. We're here. Um, let me call her and then I'm coming. All right, cool. All right, do y'all need anything from anywhere? 
Uh, I think we're good right now. Like I say, Twins just okay. in the room and going through the contractions and all that. But uh, yeah, I think we're good. You guys called T and Tracy already? Yeah, T and Tracy. Uh, well, T just pulled up and Tracy came by. Because Tracy just came by to check on her just to see what was going on. And uh -huh. then she just ended up staying. So, yeah. Okay, here I come. All right, cool. All right. All right. So, yeah, Shame is on her way. Mark is going to be on her way. Uh, I said it's 11.04 now. I call it 12.26 for an arrival, so we'll see what happens. Happy birthday! Thanks. <laughs> we got a big 30 year old. And apparently I'm about to have a twin. And he's about to have a twin. <laughs> which is ironic because he calls Delisa twin, so not no more because. <laughs> so it's a, uh, twin I mini. I'm going to call it 1226. I don't think going to happen, but still close. So. It's 12 He thinks now. it's going to happen in 16 minutes, which I doubt. I mean, we're working with Christian, so. Oh. Her birth's on our mic. Right. But so, probably not. it's Corey's birthday. Fave is in the room, contraction and doing the labor thing. Cool, is ready. <laughs> Bear's chill with us. <laughs> the pool's ready. Mom's hanging out on the couch. And yeah. I'm here because Corey called me and was like, we think her water broke. I said, we think? And he's like, we think her water broke. And I said, are T and Tracy there? <laughs> and he said, well, Tracy's here. And I said, oh, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> and T was here before I got here. And we're so excited. I mean, Jaleesa was just praying for a happy baby. But she truly did not want Little Harper to make her entrance on Corey's birthday. But Harper's gonna be here today. <laughs> Unless they decide to lie about this date, <laughs> which Corey will not let happen because Corey's been saying some prayers and not telling us that he wants her to come today. So yeah, but we're excited. Instead of happy holidays, we're saying happy Harper. So happy Harper. So we're filling water up so that it's warm enough to be in the pool. And mom's, mom's my coach, I'm just here helping. <laughs> I can't wait.
just in case my sweet god family wants to see it. But, a little mini update. Um, you guys know that Jaleesa wanted to do her birth at home. And her and Corey had discussed that, and that was the plan. Um, the plan has, unfortunately, changed. So, they had to get transferred this morning, and they're both on their way to the hospital right now. Hence why Cooper is with me currently, because Cooper is going to come stay with me while they focus on their sweet little fat family and bundle joy. So, I am just praying for my sweet friends that things, at least at the hospital, go to the best of their abilities and knowledge, and they have every... Like, they're giving clarity on things, and I pray that, obviously, Jaleesa and Baby are healthy, and that's what's most important, and that's what happens. I'm just praying that she also knows that she was so strong through this whole process, um, because I don't know what it's like to be pregnant or go through this process, but I also know my friend. So, Jaleesa, if you're watching, I don't want you to feel like you failed or you didn't do what you were supposed to do or your body didn't do what it was supposed to do because I'm like not even an eighth as strong as you are so watching you go through this and being strong enough to make the decision for the health of your family like amazing and your strength through this whole process amazing so I'm just praying for you guys and I can't wait to hear the news and updates I can't wait to be able to hug all three of you um and yeah Corey happy birthday I took a shot, at least you don't know this, I took a shot with Corey last night, um, as soon as the clock struck midnight, because it's his birthday, um, and I don't know if we've said this in any vlog, but the one thing Julissa didn't want was for Harper and Corey to share a birthday, just because she felt like you should be celebrated in your own right, on your day, but now, they're being celebrated together, so something tells me that Corey has been saying a little different prayer than the rest of us, which is fine, but... Happy birthday, Corey. Um, happy birthday, Harper. And, yeah, can't wait to see you guys when you get home and hug you and squeeze you. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys have been so strong during this process. And, yeah, that's it. The next time you see me, either I will be so excited on the way to their house or already holding my goddaughter. So, see y'all later. <laughs>'Cause her heart rate was racing. Her heart rate was raising. And my midwife was not happy with that. And we got it under control and I was like chugging water and stuff like trying to get her hydrated, but anytime I would do that I would also get sick myself. Um so long story short, we decided to come to the hospital to deliver. I got an IV um fluid and I feel so much better just because not eating for two days and like sis was getting all these big juicy meals every day i know she's probably like so what are you doing these last two days um but yeah so we tried for the home birth and i feel like if i wasn't so dehydrated and just like worn out we probably would have been fine but i just did not see myself being able to like go through another day of like trying to get her down um, and get more dilated because I was stuck at a four for like, how long was I stuck at a four? Well, like two, three days. What? 12 hours. No. Wasn't I at a four? Well, she was at a four for, yeah. She's. Over 12 hours. I know, but no, it was three. Tracy came, 
I think it was three. Which means she wasn't in the pelvis, but she is. Right, right, okay, yeah. Well, bottom line is, here. baby girl. Hey, T. So we don't, you know. That's T back there. Scan. <laughs> she, she's back there, but just know, she's there. But yeah, baby girl was uh being hard-headed. We did the she whole, being hard. Well, she's taken after her mother already. We did the whole 511, which was five contractions apart for one minute, lasting an hour. So we were doing that, but she just wasn't all the way ready yet. Yeah. And like Twin said earlier, she was getting dehydrated from throwing up all day, basically. And bad diarrhea, it was like both together. Yeah, so she was just losing a lot of energy. Um, and the contractions for three days straight. Yeah. Wearing the clean out. You will see earlier in this earlier in this vlog that we were just recording the contractions like all day which is pretty much a struggle here because <laughs> couldn't really go too far then you hear twin there's another one i'm gonna record it but then when tracy checked me and said that i was at the same number i thought i was gonna lose my mind yeah i was pretty frustrated yeah i already know you were going mm -hmm. through it but yeah, so she was losing so much energy just going through that and then the whole process of actually Having to go through another day and then do the birth and push out baby girl probably didn't have the strength that was needed so and My midwife told me I kind of probably overdid it with the like raspberry leaf and primrose oil. So don't do that guys because Apparently, <laughs> it's possible to overdo it. So she started to get worried about my uterus not being like strong enough and all this stuff. But long story short, I mean, I, I labored at home for three days. So I feel okay knowing that I tried um, for the home birth. And you know, better luck with the next child. But we got to get Harper here and safely and me not losing everything in the process so so here, yeah T. Ardula is here to make sure you know things run <laughs> the way they should be ran and we know our rights and all that stuff and that's it and wish me luck because oh, now and it's I'm on camera birthday. duty oh yeah so she I told y'all she decided to come well just remember I said 1226 you did so Wow. There's that. Wow. There's that. Yeah, so you know, no one cares about me and planning <laughs> or life or anything. Just know you're not touching me the whole month of March because we will not be having <laughs> any more December babies. Well, yeah, we'll keep y'all updated. And like I said, wish me luck because now I'm on camera duty. Huh. Yep. I'm out. See you. Okay, guys. So I decided to move forward with a c-section it's been we got here at 11 and it's like what time is it after one one thirty it's after one, it's after one, one and 15. i have progressed nothing at all even with all the pitocin and all that stuff so um cool. so we decided to just go because i don't want her to keep hitting a wall um and i don't want to wait for her to be unhealthy to make the next step so that's what we're doing now and we're about to move and meet Harper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably not. I'm nervous, but I'm excited to meet her. And I feel like I've been pregnant forever. <laughs> Just, you know, that's coming. Yeah, not but... the way we thought it was going to go, but I'm trusting. Baby girl's almost there. Oh, it's already the music. Yeah. Nervous. Uh, Very nervous.
Just started recording, so we're oh. not gonna do that one. Oh, was it here? It's coming out, it's coming out. Wow. It's all for us. <laughs> wow. How does that feel? Hey, baby okay. girl. Say thank you, mommy. I helped you out. You helped all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to the world. No?